Welcome to another bite-sized training tape for football officials. And today we're going to look at a at a defensive pass interference call. We're looking at the receiver at the top of the screen. The quarterback is going to scramble around, and then this happens, and it, it doesn't look pretty. But let's uh, let's break it down. So basically, this is the uh, the side judge key. So as, as linesman. In this formation, you would have backs out of the backfield, or you would have the offensive tackle to your side. So you wouldn't be looking at the receiver initially. Now, at this point right here, you'd probably be looking at the, at A77, the offensive tackle, uh, possibly the running back. Now the quarterback rolls out. You need to keep an eye on him a little bit, just in case he gets close to you. Uh, so I'm guessing that the linesman doesn't get a really good look at this and he just reacts on, on how it looks. Um, if we break it down, you, the first contact right here is, is, most of it is probably before the ball is even thrown. And then the second contact here is after the ball hits the ground. So DPI is, is a questionable call. Um, if I were this wing, I would simply uh, just tell myself I, that looked fishy, it looked funky, it looked strange, but I didn't see enough of it uh, to really make a good ruling on it. Plus, I'm going to trust my side judge buddy to make the call because he followed those players all the way around, all through the play. The second thing is, or the next thing is, this flag throw is, is well, it's not the best for DPI where you need a spot foul. Um, if you're going to throw your flag, throw it overhand and it just lands much more uh, accurately on a consistent basis. So uh, not the best DPI, uh, the covering official, or the in this case the wing, probably didn't see all of it. And when we can break it down on tape, probably uh, shouldn't have been called at all. And that was it for this edition of the Bite Size Training Tape. So as always, thank you for watching.